Hey, yeah. So today I am uber excited because we're about to throw down, y'all. We're about to make a feast fit for a king or a queen. You know, I'm talking about vegan soul food. Oh, I don't have this all the time, but when I do, oh, when I do, it's like the best thing ever. And I want to show you guys just how easy it is to get all the flavor, all the comforty food goodness on a plant-based diet. It's super, super easy. And I've shown a bit of this because I did Soul Food Sunday on my food Instagram, So Deliciously Vegan. But for those of you that haven't seen it, or if you want just, you know, more in-depth of the steps and the processes and the recipes, this is the video for you. What's on the menu, you ask? Let me run down everything we're making in this video, we're gonna be having garlic mashed potatoes. We're gonna have some really nicely seasoned greens, macaroni and cheese, my take on vegan fried chicken. On the side, we're gonna have some cornbread, gotta have the cornbread. And then for dessert, we're gonna make a classic apple pie, just like grandma used to make it, or even might be a little better than grandma used to make it. I'm just saying. So this video is brought to you by Thrive Market. Placed an order from Thrive to get some essentials for my recipes for today. Let me show you guys what I got real quick. For the apple pie, I got this vegetable shortening, this unbleached all-purpose organic flour, organic light brown sugar, got some organic cornmeal for my cornbread, also needed some baking powder, apple cider vinegar, organic applesauce. To make the mac and cheese, I'm using these 100% whole grain shells. The cheesy sauce will be made with raw cashews, vegetable broth, nutritional yeast. I got this garlic gold oil infused with toasted garlic and I thought it would be so perfect. For my vegan fried chicken I got this Cajun seasoning. Of course we gotta have some hot sauce so I got that. As always you guys know Thrive is one of my all-time favorite online grocery stores. Product selection is amazing, quality off the charts, and as a company they're committed to making healthy living, healthy eating, affordable and accessible to everyone. When you shop on their site you can order your food items like I did today you can order your household items like cleaning supplies all that good stuff you can order beauty items and it comes straight to your door and for the items that they carry their prices are fan Fantastic. So if you head on over to thrivemarket.com slash the chic natural and sign up you can save 25% off your first order and you'll get a free gift I'll have the link below in my description box. Thanks to thrive for sponsoring this video and let's get cooking Okay, so now we're gonna make the greens now initially I wanted to do either collard greens or mustard greens But for some reason when I went to the market yesterday, they didn't have any and I don't know what's going on with that But I got some kale Kale is fine. Kale is good. We're gonna saute these up. Super simple. This bag says it's been triple washed, but no. We have to wash our greens. This is very important. All produce, but especially greens, they can just really harbor <laughs> some nastiness. And so you wanna make sure before you make your greens, before you cook them, they're as clean as possible. And for my greens especially, I like to do a vinegar and soap wash. I use a plant-based soap to really get any type of dirt, pest, anything that might still be on these greens off. Put these into a large pot. Add some apple cider vinegar, add some soap. We're gonna just give it a good wash. So I like to let that sit for a few minutes to really get a good soak and then drain it and give it a power wash. Just went and chopped up half a white onion and half of a red bell pepper. So now that my kale is washed and clean and my extra veggies are chopped, we can go ahead and put it together. All right, so I'm using this garlic gold oil for this. I'm gonna pour some in. Then I'm gonna add my onion and red bell pepper. Once the onion starts to brown, I'm gonna add some minced garlic and red pepper flakes. Then I'm gonna pour in some vegetable broth. And now I can add in my kale, start to mix and incorporate everything together. I'm gonna cover it up for a few minutes and let this really cook down. And then I'm just gonna add a few more seasonings at the end, give it another toss and that's pretty much it. Garlic powder, pepper, salt. Also gonna add a little Cajun seasoning to this. It's gonna bring it all together. And that is it for the greens. 
The cornbread is very straightforward to make, so I'm taking some almond milk, and I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. Whisk it together, let it sit for five minutes, it's gonna curdle, and that's gonna make the buttermilk. Then in this bowl, I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients, so I have my cornmeal, flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, whisk it together, then pour in the wet mixture, some applesauce, and melted vegan butter, and mix everything together. That's gonna make the cornbread batter. Transfer that into this greased baking pan. Then pop this in the oven. Absolutely perfect. And I brushed it with a little melted vegan butter right on top. Mashed potato time. So I have these russet potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them. I'm gonna peel them, dice them up, throw them into a pot and boil them. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of vegan butter. I'm gonna add some finely minced garlic to that. I like my potatoes very garlicky, but you know, you can add as much or as little as you want. Let's get it nice and fragrant. Just gonna saute this for about a minute or two. Potatoes are tender. I've already gone ahead and drained them and then returned them to the pot. So now I'm gonna add some almond milk to this. This is gonna help them make them super creamy. I don't really measure, I just kinda Put as much as I think it'll take to get these nice and whipped. I'm gonna add in this garlic butter. Then I'm gonna season it further with some seasoning salt, onion powder, black pepper, and a tiny bit of pink salt. Take my hand mixer and give it a whip. Not looking as creamy as I want it to, so I'm gonna add some more almond milk to that. Then you just give it a taste. See if you need to add any more seasoning. I'm gonna add some more seasoning salt. Now it's perfect. Parsley on top. I really like seeing that green on there. And that's it. Okay, mac and cheese time. So I'm gonna take these shells and boil them. While the noodles are boiling, I'm gonna make the sauce. So into my blender, I'm gonna add Raw cashews, one medium-sized carrot's worth of baby carrot. This has been boiled and softened. Nutritional yeast, vegan butter, some vinegar, salt, pepper. Ooh, put a little more than I should have, but it'll be okay. Onion powder, garlic powder, little nutmeg, vegetable broth, and water. Blend all this together and that'll be the sauce for the mac and cheese. Look at how smooth and creamy this is. Yum! Drained my noodles. Just pour that right in there. Mix it all together, let it heat up. And that is basically it. Probably my favorite part of the meal, vegan fried chicken. I'm using portobello mushroom caps and for each cap I'm gonna get three pieces. So what I do is I just take my mushroom Cut it into thirds. And then I like to cut off this bottom part, this like gilly part. So I just take it and trim that off. Well, you know, the majority of it. And then I'll have this. I'm gonna throw all of them into this apple cider vinegar bath. and then give it a good wash. All 
I towel dried these so I could remove the excess water. And now I'm gonna make the batter so I can fry these puppies up. Okay, I'm gonna have a wet batter and a dry batter. For the wet batter, I'm gonna put some flour, some Cajun seasoning, onion powder, some garlic powder, some cumin, and almond milk. And then for the dry batter, I have flour, breadcrumbs, and salt and pepper. Dip each piece into the wet batter first, and then into the dry batter, like that. Got some vegetable oil. Drain the oil on a paper towel and it comes out golden and crispy and delicious. Look at this plate guys, doesn't this look so yummy? Definitely gotta have my hot sauce on my fried mushrooms. And that, my dears, is it? I don't even have to taste this to mm, to know that it's good because I've made this so many times. It tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Do you hear that crunch? That is perfection right there. And then of course we can't have all this good food and not have dessert. So we're gonna make a classic apple pie from scratch. It's the best. I love this pie. Oh, so ready for it. So let me show you how to make that. Okay, for the pie, we gotta start by making the crust. So in my large mixing bowl, I'm gonna add flour. I'm gonna add some sugar and some salt. Then give that a mix. Then I'm gonna add some vegan butter and vegetable shortening. And then here's where it's gonna get a little messy. You have to like knead this with your hands until you have combined the flour and the butter and shortening together until it's like a coarse meal. Make sure your hands are clean and start combining this. Like that. So then you wanna add some ice cold water to this. Starting out with four tablespoons, and then I'm gonna see how this mixture holds up, and if I need to add more moisture to it, then I will. But you just wanna continue mixing this together until it starts to form a dough that holds together like this. Still a bit dry, so it needs some more water, so I'm gonna add in a little at a time and keep kneading. That looks really good like that. So now I'm gonna take this dough and divide it in half. And each half is gonna make one crust. So I'm gonna get the top and the bottom crust from this dough. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle some flour onto my surface. I've lined it with some parchment paper so that the dough doesn't stick to my counter. I'm also gonna put some flour onto my rolling pin. Just like to give it a light coat. Then I'm gonna take one of my dough balls and roll it out. You wanna roll it out until it's about 12 inches in diameter and try to get it in as good of a circle shape as you can so it'll fit the pan. So you see here, kinda of comes down. I don't need this extra. I'm gonna cut that off and add it where I need. Here's my pie pan. What I like to do is place it on top of the dough to make sure that it'll fit and that I have enough room on the edges to get it in there how I want. Looks like I have some extra right here that I can cut off and move to that. So you just wanna kinda cut and patch wherever you need more dough. And then once you have your bottom crust good, put the pie pan on top. And again, that's why it's a good idea to have this parchment paper because it makes it easy. All you have to do is flip it over. And then take the paper out, pinch that in. And now onto the filling. So to this pan, I'm adding vegan butter. Let it melt. Add some flour. Got some sugar. Got some brown sugar and some water. Let 
So you get this syrupy sauce like this. I have six Granny Smith apples and I have gone ahead and diced those up. Just throw them into a bowl. You pour that sauce right over the apples. Then give it a mix so all the apples are coated with that syrup we just made. Pour the apples right inside. I'm gonna sprinkle some cinnamon right on top. And then we're gonna cover it with the top crust. I like to make a little well around the edge. And then with the fork, I'm gonna pinch together the top and the bottom crust around the edge and trim off the excess. Put a few slits in it to vent, and we can toss this in the oven, and it's ready to bake. Apple pie fresh out of the oven. Look at this beauty. Gonna to top this with some non-dairy ice cream. Absolute best dessert. Scrumptious. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely try these recipes out for yourself. And if you haven't already, shameless plug, check out my cookbook, Deliciously Vegan. So many tasty dishes in here. And for this video, I do have the apple pie recipe. I do have the mac and cheese. The vegan fried chicken is in here. The cornbread is in here. Tons of good stuff. If you haven't gotten it, you might want to get it. It comes in handy. I actually use this all the time myself and I used it today while I was making all this stuff. So yeah, thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this and I will catch you all on my next one. Peace.